Here's my microscope slide. I want to have that out and ready. I need to break my onion layer towards the shiny side and then very gently peel the two pieces apart. There's a thin transparent layer of cells holding these two pieces of the onion layer together. That's the layer of epidermal cells that I'm looking for for my specimen. Now I need to obtain a piece of that onion epidermis to place on my slide. I can do that by tearing it off with a pair of tweezers. This is a very delicate thin layer of cells and they'll fold over on themselves uh, so when you place that onto the slide once you get it off your tweezers you're going to need to spread it out a little bit. The little piece of onion epidermis can easily get all wadded up and that makes it very difficult to see the cells. For this wet mount, I'm just going to use iodine. This will provide the wet part of the wet mount and it will also stain the cells and make them easier to see. The best way to apply that cover slip is to hold it at a right angle to the slide at one side of your specimen and then let it drop, let it fall. As it falls, it will push the air out and you'll have fewer air bubbles this way. Here's my finished, prepared specimen. Here's a closer look at the application of that cover slip. Again, I hold it at a right angle to the slide. I let it drop. That pushes the air out. Sometimes I'll give it a little tap. And now I'm all set. I'm now going to examine my specimen using the 4X objective lens that will magnify the specimen 40 times actual size. Here's my first look microscopically at the onion epidermal cells magnified 40 times. These cells look kind of like misshapen bricks, a whole bunch of them. The compound microscope is par focal. What that means is once I get my specimen in focus at one power, in this case the scanning power, I can switch to the next higher objective, the low power in this case, and my specimen will still pretty much be in focus. I'll only have to adjust the focus a little bit to get it crisp. Here are my onion epidermal cells magnified 100 times actual size. So this is a closer look at that specimen. We just looked at under 40 total magnification, the specimen that did not stain so well. We stain the specimen to increase the contrast, to make it more visible. And since the stain wasn't taken up that well, there are other ways to improve the contrast of our specimen. When viewing this specimen and taking this picture, I adjusted the light level. I turned it way down and that helped me see the cells much more distinctly and clearly. Here are a couple examples of onion epidermal cells viewed at 400 times actual size through that high dry lens. These samples have stained a little better than the ones I showed you previously. I can see the thick cell walls and these elongated cells. In this picture, I can see a cell nucleus in the second cell below the pointer. Stem of a herbaceous plant and this stem should be soft and it should be cut into about three centimeter pieces and put in water. We require some watch glasses, slides, cover slips, needle, forceps, brush, blade, dropper, stain and saffronine and mounting. For mounting we require glycerin. Now let us start the cutting of the section of a stem. For this you need to hold the stem in your left hand in an upright condition 
and hold this razor blade in your right hand and hold it at right angles to the uh, axis of the stem and try to cut very thin sections of the stem as thin as possible and then put these in water. So, here you can see I have cut sections of the stem and put it in water. Now, we want to stain these sections. For this, we will take saffronine stain and dilute it with some water and put these sections in saffronine stain. Keep it for 1 or 2 minutes and then take it out in a watch glass having water. So, this these sections are then transferred to a watch glass containing water. After this, these sections are put on a slide. A drop of glycerin is put and on this drop the section is put and this needs to be covered by cover glass. Now, this section has been mounted, the stained section has been mounted in glycerine and now it is ready to be observed under the microscope. Focus it under low power of microscope and try to see the structures visible.